Hello everybody, I am DeGroot. Welcome back to The Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> uh, in the first two episodes, I did back-to-back -back on my recording. I had some issues, so hopefully... Hang on, let me adjust my camera just a smidge. Hopefully... Ooh, now I'm really crooked. There we go. Hopefully uh, this looks visually better. And also I have a towel over the noise that was coming out of my laptop fan. I'm a, it's a dual laptop situation here. One's playing the game, one's recording. So anyway, we got done talking to these folks here about what they were doing and cleared them and we're going to be moving to our next car. <clears throat> All right, let's see if I can remember. It's been a couple days. My voice is, you sure you don't want to stay and look at all the great books a little longer? Mystery calls. Okay, the investigation continues. Thanks, Tails. Appreciate it. Oh, I like this place. The casino car. Very nice. <laughs> What's this guy doing? All this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Rouge, there you are. We have a lot to say to you. We've visited every train car so far and everyone said they've seen you wandering about. It's high time you told us why. My, my, talk about a warm welcome. Quick to the point, aren't you, darling? And I see you brought the Microwave Master with you. Hey, she remembers me. Oh, please don't let that be my legacy. <sighs> Tails is right. Folks have brought you up a lot. Care to explain? I mean, I'd talk about her a lot, too, if I lived in this universe. <laughs> huh? Tell him, Rouge. We're gonna need to... We're gonna need the help. Blaze? All right. I've been hunting for a treasure. Really to restore... Ow. Easy for me to say. Rumor to be stored here on the train. Tre treasure? They certainly didn't tell me about treasure in the interview. Since I'm part business tycoon, part purveyor of fine collectibles, I knew I had to find it. Tell them what it is, Rogue. Alright, well... It's a Fabergé chow egg. Wow, that does sound extravagant. But please don't tell me you accepted Amy's birthday invite only to find that egg. A woman can have multiple goals. I gave Amy her birthday present already, so everything's well taken care of. She wrote me in to the hunt immediately. I stayed here while she searched the train cars for clues. I, the, the voices are so similar, I'm just... Yeah. Here's what it is. I deduced that the Fabergé cow, chow egg... <laughs> cow! Wow. Fabergé chow egg is here in this train car. Locked in a safe. Wait, so the treasure is real? It's actually here? And what did you manage to find, Rouge? Oh well, why don't you all take a look? Ooh, blueprints. I found the train's blueprints in the library car, with the safe code written right on it. Score of a lifetime. Oddly convenient. The train's blueprints? Please, Rouge, let us see that. Uh, 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 finders keepers, sweetheart. There's a problem. We need your assistance. What kind of problem? The elevator behind the security guard leads us right to the room holding the Fabergé chow egg. But we're not getting anywhere without the guard's access card. We need a plan to get that card to use the elevator. And our chance of success grows with everyone's help. So, you want us to help you steal the Fabergé chow egg? Blaze, you don't have a problem with this? I see no issues here. Sounds like a fine business venture. Ah, uh, her lower card must be influencing her decisions here. Either that or breaking the rules must be refreshing for a princess. DeGroote, do you have an opinion on this? I mean... It's time for a five-figure discount. Well, I suppose that both Blaze and DeGroote are in. Okay, let's get that Fabergé chow egg. 
<laughs> That's the ticket. Hope you have. Hope to have both. Oh my gosh. Happy to have both on. Just gonna enjoy the music because I can't talk. All right. <laughs> That's the ticket. Happy to have you both on the team. Now we must plan. Okay. It's a heist! Yes! Take, it has everything! Oh boy, what have I got? What have we gotten ourselves into? Eh. Access to Fabergé Chow Egg Room is behind a locked elevator door. The security guard has the access card. Do we. Uh. How about distract the guard? We'll distract the guard. Distract them! Perfect! We're all charming enough for that to work. That was actually a really nice thing to say. Huh. She's totally into me. <laughs> Degrud, is everything okay? I've never seen you smile like that. <laughs> You've never seen me smile. Come on, man. Come on, man. Seems they don't know how to take a compliment. If I'm gonna be in a casino, my poker face needs to work. Ah. <sighs> Okay, who's distracting the security guard? Oh boy, um... Let's go with Blaze. Think you could distract the guard, Blaze? In my life, I've never let a single person down. I won't falter. Great. Her voice is so stoic, I have chills. Oh. Well, I trust her. Moving on. What's the distraction? Um... Pretend the claw machine is stuck. Who puts a claw machine in a casino? You know that's actually a thing? They even have coin pushers and stuff. That'll work great as a distraction. Let's continue the plan. With the guard distracted, Rouge, how will you get the access card? Uh, pick their pocket. I'll snatch the access key, no problem. That chow in uniform won't notice a thing. Excellent! We can count on you, Rouge! Try not to take anything else from them if you can help it. No promises. With a card obtained, we need to get Blaze out of there, Decruit. What's your plan? Um... Uh, um... Yeah! I'll pretend I'm their spouse. Then you'd be marrying into the royal family. What is your heritage? Any war crimes I should know about? What? Well, I um, um... You dress far too plain. You, you would need a complete refashioning immediately. Uh, you know what? Maybe we, maybe we should try something else. Interesting. You give up far too easily as well. We'd have to work on your fortitude. I said we'll try something else. With the card team. Yeah, okay, so we'll just, uh. We'll just do this thing with the coaster. Absolutely vile! I can think of nothing worse! Despicable! I would never allow such a thing in my kingdom! The guard will go running immediately, I'm sure of it! Great, and with the guard distracted, we'll all head to the elevator! And just like that, we'll all make it to the elevator. Inside we. Um, celebratory dance, yes. Now that's a proper victory! Oh no. One last security measure we didn't account for. What do we do about the mechanical arms attacking from the ceiling? Uh, high five them. The end of those arms are claws. I'm not touching them. High fives aren't giving away willy nilly. But my high fives, they are to be cherished. I don't think my hands would survive a high five from them. Let's rethink this. Come on. They all humor my suggestion. How oddly polite of them. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Uh, 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 Tails, disable them. I should be able to disengage them. I'll just need some time. Well, that leads us nicely to our next question. Oh no. Tails is ta taking a while and the arms are tightening their grip. Um, uh, pretend there's nothing wrong? Tails managed to do it! 
Darlings, I am happy to say the plan is perfect. If everyone is ready, it's time to execute. I'm ready. Let's begin. All right, let's see what's up the ele up the elevator. Ho, ho! I knew the plan would. I could give her like a southern belt thing. I knew the plan would go off without a hitch. <laughs> we couldn't have made it this far without you both. You have my gratitude. Our planning beforehand was very thorough, I must admit, and it was executed to perfection. Enough chatter. Now we claim our real price. I have the safe code right here on these blueprints. Let's claim our Fabergé chow egg. <laughs> that wasn't great, I know. Money! Money! Ooh. What could they possibly be storing in all these? This is this casino car. I suppose it's all expensive gems and gold. Maybe rings, too? Rings? You can find those lying around in the grass. That's of no interest to us. Let's focus on the real price, shall we? Right, we gotta find the safe with the Fabergé chow egg inside. But I want to go open that one, too. No question, this has to, got to be the safe with our treasure. Uh-oh. <laughs> Bless me, Father, for I have sneezed. Anyways. Enter the code on the blueprints and find out, Roche. Roche? Yeah, I guess she would say that thing. On it, sweetheart. Let's see. LeBron James, Yadier Molina, Ozzy Smith. I should have went with David Freese. I am a Cardinal fan, after all. And a giant nerd. Oh, wow! It's here! Ha <laughs> I have it! Alright, before anyone sees us, let's get out of it! Hold on, kiddo, we can't be so hasty. You truly think that's all there is to this egg? No further secrets whatsoever? Rogue, spit it out! What are you hiding? Only three of these eggs were ever made, each hiding their own individual secret. No one knows the secret because anyone who's opened one of these has never lived to tell the tale. You can open the egg? You sure can. And all of you will bear witness to its secret. Wait, what? Is that a typo? Rouge, I don't know if you should. All you need to do is twist it. Are you gonna break? Tick, 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 tick. Oh no, it's a bomb! What are we gonna do? Uh, 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 uh oh. Rouge! Has no one lived to tell the to, uh, egg secret? Because each egg is a bomb? Uh, I think you're onto something, kid. It sure sounds like a bomb. We need to dispose of that egg now. Dispose of it? After all of our hard work? Rouge! Fine, fine, but what do we do? Where do I put this thing? That's an excellent question. What do we do with a bomb? Oh, dear lord. Uh, I'm going uh, to stop the egg. Let's take the uh, egg. Uh, uh, kiss the egg? Uh, kiss me. No. Uh, 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 move it upside down. Decrude, what's flipping it going to do? I don't know. Try it. Nothing. Happy? Yes. Twist the egg again! Great idea! Stop! Stop! That's clearly not working! Let's try to think of something else. Uh, no, don't eat it. Open it and see what, what... Yeah, let's see if there's wires to cut. What do you mean by this? You know, red wire, blue wire, wire, you gotta cut one, like in the movies! This isn't a movie, DeGroot. This is real life! Uh, he's got a good point. Uh, uh, but, uh, uh, stop the, uh, uh, I'll rock the egg to sleep! So you think the egg is cranky and needs a nap? Is that what you're telling us? Everyone's always mad at the idea guy. Uh. <laughs> let the fit, let the, let, let it finish ticking and see what happens. Are you insane? Do you want us to just blow up? We need to dispose of the bomb to clear This is our goal. Listen, listen, I get that, but what if the egg isn't a bomb? Wait, 
That's right! DeGroot, I think you're onto something! I am? Huh? What's right? Spit it out, kiddo. We don't have any time. Sorry, it's just... Espio did say something interesting when we quizzed him about the train's manual. Okay, um... What efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms. During events, they can perform a variety of tests that are responsible for cleaning up trash and messes afterwards. Robotic arms also detect weapons and explosives being brought onto the train, ensuring passenger safety. Those robot arms that attacked us in the elevator seem to have a lot of functions here on the train. If a bomb was brought on the train disguised as the Fabergé Chaos... Cha wow, I was going to say Chaos again. Chalet, their arms would have detected it and wouldn't have allowed it on. The only other person who knows the coming and going on the train is the conductor. And he surely wouldn't allow such a thing either. So if we were out of options, I think we should wait and see what happens. Hmm. Huh? Okay, we wait. Okay. Oh? The egg! It opened! It opened! It's hollow, not a bomb at all. You both were really on something. Er, yeah. Phew! My, my. Well, that's one way to get the heart racing. It's completely relieved. Or, I'm completely relieved. Wow, really? My hunch was right, thankfully. You know, after all the other dumb options. Eee! Look what's inside! Ooh! Wow, look at that sparkle! It's so heavy, too! The final secret to the Fabergé Choe is a child covered in gems. It's perfect, it's exquisite, it's revolutionary. Is she drooling over a sparkly ornament? Though I must admit, it is stunning. You said no one lived to tell the Fabergé Choe's secret. I wonder why, if the egg wasn't a bomb. Because they weren't as tough as us. I don't know, who cares? What a precious treasure, a beauty to behold. Maybe they naturally died of old age and just kept the secret with them. Uh, as much fun as this has been, we should get out of here before we're spotted. Good call, let's go. Yay, we got the egg. Well, son. No one seems to suspect anything and the security guard is back at their post. Hope they subdued the drink, Coaster Fiend, okay? Thank you both for your assistance. That hunt was exactly the thrill I was seeking. Stealing was strangely fun, but I prefer never to do it again. Now, Rouge. Rouge? She's completely absorbed in that bedazzled child. What? What? What is it, darling? About those blueprints. Now that you're done with them, maybe we can take a look? Well, I appreciate your assistance. It's, as I said, finders keepers. I'll need them a little longer in case I missed any other treasures, but I promise to let you take a peek later. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I'm sure you get it, sweetheart. You can't just add sweetheart to the end of a sentence to make things better. That's like saying, bless your heart, or no offense. Yeah, there's a, there's a hidden meaning there. But I don't think there's any reasoning with her. She's more powerful than me. Well, we'll get out of your way for now, then. We have a murder mystery to attend to. Before you go, Shadow gave me and Rouge one of these. He passed through earlier. A key. Let me unlock the door so you can continue forward. You know, we've had a lot of people mention you, Rouge. But we also have just as much suspicion about Shadow. He's unpredictable, that one. Good luck to you. The door's unlocked. Both of you stay safe. Thanks again. Will do. Come on, DeGroot. Let's head out. Gotcha. The mystery continues. But we can talk to things and look at things. The capabilities of that robot arm are quite spectacular. I'm impressed every time I see them. I can't help but wonder how they're controlled. I don't know. The conductor was ordering around a bit earlier. At the very least, their things operate much smoother with them here. 
I wouldn't worry about it. I know Reed's so good right now. Yeah, that's true. They're very versatile. What's in the trash? Tails, we must search the trash bin. <sighs> it's empty. Oh? Oh, did I hear an O? I've always believed in a thorough investigation, even peeking in the trash. See, it's about persistence, Tails. My dad told me that when we, when he met my mother, he would drive to her work two hours away every Tuesday with a flower from his garden. She quickly agreed to a date, and when she arrived at the restaurant, she found two dozen roses waiting for her. Within a year, the two were married. It was caring. Uh, it's about caring, dedication, and persistence. Except nowadays, you just slapped with a cease and desist or, you know, restraining order. That's, um, very sweet, but all that's in the bin is a lollipop stick. A lollipop stick? Yeah, like the leftover stick from a lollipop? That's all that's here. Groot. The Groot, is everything okay? Do you need me to bring you a flower? Just leave me be. <laughs> I've been drained by the trash can. What else we got? Oh, we got casino stuff. And we got... Hey, yeah, hey, let's play this. Hmm, should I give the, the slot machine a try? Yeah! Alright, let's see. Big money, big money. Well lost. Do I try again? Yeah! Is this a persistence thing? Like, if I keep playing it, will I eventually win? The group! What do you expect to happen if you keep playing? Big money? I'm gonna get it this time. You'll see. Alright, one more time. Alright, fine. Phew, I was starting to worry about you. <laughs> yeah, let's go. <sighs> What's up, Rouge? Thanks again for your help earlier. Now, what can I do for you, darlings? Uh, are you hungry? You want to go out? Set, dinner? What a paltry menu. Not a lot of options, sweetie. I think I'll have to pass. Not a problem. Just let me know if you need something later. Sure, if I need a bag of chips, I'll holler. Holla! Alright, let's play as a... Dr. Eggman's built a lot of casinos to run around in, but I've never actually sat down and played any for fun. Oh, you want to play jet blackjack? I don't know how to play that. Here, let me show you. Degrit, we said we don't have time for this. We must avenge Sonic. Eh, probably a good point. Let's talk to Blaze. Pulling off that heist was much more enjoyable than the rest of these casino games. What's your alibi? Do you think you could go over your alibi again for us, Blaze? When Amy began the murder mystery, what did you do? Sure, we left the dining car and Rouge pulled me aside to talk about the Fabergé chow egg. We walked and talked in the casino, uh, to the casino car where we then went our separate ways. I scoped around and discovered the egg was here. After that, I played the slot machines. The train did a sudden jolt, which was odd, but I didn't leave the car. I gave Amy her present when she stopped by. Shadow passed through as well, but it was brief. He gave me the exit key and left. Interesting. Do you have any sort of proof you were here playing the slots? I do, actually. I kept winning, so I saved the cash out voucher. You can take a look. Let's hear... 14,000 credits! That's an enormous payout! How did you... I'm just naturally lucky, I suppose. That smirk. She's so self-aware. I'm in love! No, I'm kidding. Well, thank you for your time, Blaze. Anytime. And Tails, do tell Cream I said hi, won't you? Of course, can do. Oh, yeah, I didn't check your alibi. What's your alibi? Do you think you'd go over your alibi again for us, Rouge? When Amy began the murder mission, what did you do? Well, once Amy paired Blaze and I up, immediately roped her into a Fabergé Chow egg gun. We split up at the casino car and I went searching for the blueprints. I walked back through the library, saloon car, still I found in the library car. Did you see Sonic at all during your search? Sonic? No. I don't believe so. I remember him in the dining car at the beginning. Do you have anything to support that claim? Listen, plenty of people saw me poking around and I have the blueprints on me. I hardly had time to chase Sonic down, murder him, and find the blueprints myself. We appreciate your answering our questions, Rouge. You take care now. Likewise, darling. 
Okay, anything else we can click on before we move on to the next place? No. All right, let's head out. Ready to get going? Yeah, let's find Shadow. Let's do it! Oh yeah, smooth jazz. Now is it, oh now is as good as time as any to clean out my pockets. I know you won't talk, but I know exactly why you've been. I know exactly why you've been locking those doors. It's hard to get a word in as you talk over me. I have my reasons. I. No reason is convincing enough. It's inconceivable what you did. Hey, hey, what's going on? Hmm. I see you made it here, Tails. But I didn't expect the Iron Chef as well. We'll see what you say when your microwave chili dog's delicious. I'd also like to know why you've been locking doors throughout the train, Shadow. Well, it seems Amy already knows, so ask her. Hmm. I'm not saying a thing. You lot will have to tell me why. Now, if you could leave me be, I have an appointment coming up. An appointment? Who wants to meet with him? Well, DeGroot, it seems like Shadow isn't going to talk. Let's do some investigating. All right. Ready to find some answers, Tails? Intuitively, my dear DeGroot. Amy, what's up? Glad you two finally caught up. I, I'm surprised it took you so long to get here. I thought you wanted to save Sonic. We've been thorough. Do you have any clues for us? Just a hot tip, but all we will, uh, all will be revealed in due time. I think I'll be shedding a bit of light on this whole case. Big light. Crunchy floors are really noisy. Could you please tell us? No way! Journalist reporter Amy Rose is always first to reveal the scoop. When you're ready to challenge Shadow, talk to him. Then I'll be ready. I'm so curious about what it is. She seems so confident. Uh, we'll hold you to it. Uh, you must have had much charge. Can I take your order? Why not? I'm not ordering a single thing till we get birthday cake. Cake first, dinner after. Otherwise, I'll go full on dinner and can't have any cake. You have priorities. I respect that. It just makes sense. Hey, you smooth jazz guys. Hey, it's the big child band. Play us a ditty. They don't miss. Those child understand music. <laughs> hey, what's in the closet? The crew, could you open the wardrobe, please? Sure. Wait, is there a reason you want me to do it? What if something falls out or worse, someone leaves out? I just think you should do it. Fine. Alright, watch a pro. It must be dusty. All this dust, you opened the door too fast and blew everywhere. <laughs> that was me doing videos like a month ago. Hey, he's dusting. There's another robot arm just doing its thing. As an employee, do you have any power over these arms? Can you tell it to do something? Oh, no, but I'll give it a shot. Hey, robot arm, can you give me a high five? It doesn't seem to be listening to you, but I could give you a high five. Oh, sweet! Yeah! Okay, so any more evidence over here? No. No evidence there. Let's go. A printer. See, it's a printer set up to the computer. Can we print something? Like, uh, the Sonic rowing a boat. Huh? This printer is surprisingly tricky to use. Tricky? Is it tricky to rock around? Rock around the Sonic? Hmm? Yeah, the user interface isn't very clear, but I won't let it stump me. Oh, nice. And here we go. Yep, this is exactly what I asked for. AI technology these days, I swear, it's amazing. I'll uh, quietly set this back on the printer. Check the computer. They told us about this in my interview. The lounge has a computer complete with internet access for casual browsing. And nothing else. 
How lovely. Seems convenient. It is. It's a shame that the, uh, a shame to be on the computer and missing these gorgeous views, though. I feel like if you're using the computer here, you must be really, you must really need to use it. Ugh, words. Hmm. Hey, keys. A key ring? Must be Shadows, the locksmith. Interesting, there's only two keys. I figured a locksmith would have a bunch. Want to take it? Yeah, let's take it. All right, we got the key ring. Groovy. I mean, I guess he's a locksmith, so it makes sense. Really, is this it? That it? That's all that's here? Uh, all right, let's... Why did you come over here? There's nothing I can help either of you with. I ask that you leave me be. That stair so cold. You know, maybe we'll get out of here, actually. The crew, we certainly will not. Interrogate! Hmm, I don't think we have enough evidence yet. Why don't we look around a little bit more first? Oh. Wait, is that... Did I check that board? Yeah. Oh, let's look at this. No? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess I was getting bit ahead of myself. I guess you were. Ooh, bigger about the investigation. Oh, what's this? Hmm? Tails, do you see this? Little string? The Groot! What? It's gotta activate something. What the? The back of the wardrobe open. There's a full passageway back here. Come on, we have to see what, where it leads. He's curious. This must mean something big. Oh. Wait, this takes us to the library. Wow. This is the library. There's a secret passage from the lounge to the library? I don't believe it. Shh, quick. Back through the passage before they spot us. Huh. Huh. We need to add that to our inventory. Hidden passage. Got it. Okay, well, he didn't say that was enough clues, so... What the... The light? Oh. <laughs> nice. Hey. Give us a jam. Cool. That was spiritual. I feel reawakened. Okay. Maybe we interrogate Amy? Oh, a question from moi? You know the journalist can't be a murderer, remember? We've learned the train will confiscate any weapons brought on board. But you've had your hammer this whole time. That's a good point. Simple. The birthday girl gets what the birthday girl wants. And I don't go anywhere without my hammer. Ah, birthday law. We should have known. Everyone knows the birthday rules. Make sense to me. Now, no more questions. When you're ready to challenge Shadow, talk to him. I'll be ready. <sighs> okay. Yeah, I scoop the sentry. What am I missing? Is it the period? Oh, window. Okay, let's check the window. Wow, Tails, you have to check this out. Oh. Hey, Froggy. It's Tails. Er, what, what's this, Big? These windows are huge. What a view. I didn't realize the train would drive along the coast. Spectacular, isn't it? I just want to hop out and take a dip in the ocean. I do not. I do not. I swear I don't. If the train wasn't so nice to be on, I'd agree. Despite the murder lingering in the air. Despite the murder lingering in the air. I just thought the same thing. Oh my gosh. Oh, I got shot to crash. Tails? No. Tails, I think we should check the trash bin. Every trash bin has been empty, DeGroot, and you've been disappointed every time. Are you going to get sad again if there's nothing in the trash bin to Groot? Mm. There's always something in the trash bin. So, Alright, let's check the trash bin. What's this? Ha! 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 It's a paper! Someone printed out the front page of a ticket website. It's for the band Hot Honey. Interesting. Hot Honey is one of Amy's favorite bands. Who cares what it is? Let's add it to our inventory. 
Are we sure this isn't just trash? Uh, I'll let you have this. There's always success if you could check the trash bin. Crumple paper added to your inventory. Yay! I think we found enough clues. That was the last one. Nice. Let's go integrate Shadow and find out what really happened. Alright, Shadow. Why did you come over here? Hacha! Time to battle in Terragate. Shadow, we have questions for you. Will you three get out? I'm busy. As I said, I have an appointment to attend to. Sorry, but this is important. Shadow, we've questioned everyone on this train and every single person has mentioned running into you. You've been locking every door in this train and... And I know why! Huh? huh? Pray tell, why was I locking all the doors? <laughs> Time to reveal my hot tip! Hope everyone's ready for a scoop found by yours truly. We're ready. According to the map, the Knight's car and the Conductor's car were Sonic was stationed. This door right here is the lounge car. Er, in the lounge car is the only door that leads to the conductor's car. Following? So Shadow was locking all the doors for one reason and one reason alone. To keep Sonic from escaping the conductor's car. Huh? So you think Shadow was trapping Sonic? I sure do. He locked the conductor's car then locked all the others so one locked door wasn't suspicious. Pure conjecture. You all get out and leave me be. Well, my source can, can back up these claims. They will remain anonymous, but I think the point stands. My source claims that they never saw Sonic again after he went to the conductor's car. Why? Because he was trapped and couldn't leave the conductor's car. Reckless speculation. Is the logic sound, though? Was Shadow trapping Sonic? I'll play along and follow this train of logic, Amy. Haha, <laughs> train of logic. If Shadow did lock the door to the conductor's car, imprisoning Sonic, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Exactly. I think DeGroot and I can explain the car change, however. Huh? DeGroot, what evidence do we have to show Sonic could have gotten to the dining car? Well, I'm gonna guess the, uh... Hidden Passage. Oh, time, time to play Sonic. Alright, let's see. Can I get on the first try? That'd be awesome. Ow! I made it. Oh, no, not the first try. Dang it. Okay, that one was... I didn't die. That's that's an improvement. Alright, let's see. Dang it. Shoot! I'm losing too many rings. Ah, oh, I got 50 again. Darn it. I will say, it's kind of hard. It's kind of bugging my eyes out. <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna win this one. I'm gonna have to have a perfect run the rest of the way. Man, I can't hit those. All right, let's just go. Go ahead and fall. Ah, oh, man. Come on, man. We can do this. I guess I could jump over that. Oh crap! I fell. Oh boy. Here we go again. This one's a little more challenging. Boing. Okay. Ah, oh, I forgot to jump! 
<laughs> Come on, I got this. Come on, baby. Big money. Crap. Well, it's an improvement. Got the 51. I don't know how to avoid that uh, fireball. I did it. Woo! Hala, beep beep. Nice. Finally. <laughs> the Groot and I found a hidden passage in the wardrobe that leads right to the library car. What? A secret passage? I'm just trying a different voice. So someone could have used the passage, stuck through the library car, walked past the distracted boys playing arcade, and safely arrived at the dining car. Excellent work, De Groot. <laughs> that adjusts my theory a bit. Yeah, let's do this. It just sounds too close to Tails. That's why I need change. So Shadow murdered Sonic in the conductor car, but then thought the crime scene being so close to his station was suspicious. Shadow picked up Sonic, locked the door in the conductor car on the way out and dropped the body off of the dining car. Uh, are you officially accusing Shadow of murder? I am, but of course this is just a theory, a game theory. By the way, thanks for beating me to the to this map, Pat. I was trying to beat you, but darn it. I uh, don't have any evidence to back this up, other than my hot scoop. <laughs> Seems Tails and I were more thorough than you. Hmm. If Shadow's not going to talk, then I'll humor you once again. If Shadow traveled through the hidden passage, appeared in the library car, then how did Espio and Vector not see him? Well, um. I suppose it would be hard to sneak around two people. Takura, do you have any guesses? Oh, well, Espion and Vector didn't see Shadow because... Um... Well, Espio was reading. I believe Espio was behind a bookshelf at a table reading. Huh? Espio reading the library checks out. That's what he told me to. That's what he told me to. He's lying. What was that, Shadow? When I completely obliterated Knuckles and Vector at that whatever game, I left the saloon car. I spent some time looking for Espio, but he was not there. He was not in the library car. Like I believe you, you're currently my number one suspect. Why were you even searching for Espio, huh? Uh, you must know I needed to give him a key. As if. Why would a locksmith be giving away his keys? Shadow has been giving away a lot of keys, actually. Everyone but us seems to have one. That's true. Everyone's been able to unlock the next door for us. I don't... I didn't know that. Shadow's been passing out keys? Perhaps. DeGroot and I can further validate Shadow's claims. We can do what? DeGroot, what evidence supports Shadow's claim that he was giving him keys away? I'm guessing the keychain. That feels good. Now to get my thoughts in order. Every time I have to do a game. Okay, let's go in. This one doesn't seem as tough. But I might be putting the... Oh, I got hit! I got hit! Oh! I was only one short. If I didn't got hit, I would have won. Dang it. Alright. Okay, this one's not so bad. We can get this one. Oh, crap. Alright. Then we're going down. Then we're going back up. Going down. Up. Oh, shoot. There's like no forgive window of forgiveness with those. Crap. There's no, like, 
mon mon momentary invisibility. It's just if you hit one, you lose coins. <laughs> Fail. <laughs> nice job, dummy. I was gonna fall. Uh, the screen is very dizzy. I'm, I will. I will admit. We got it this time. I'm gonna call my shot. Woo. Oh! Well, it would have worked if I jumped. Crap! Jumping's important, you guys. You gotta jump. I think my brain was still on the whole jump pad back there, and I was like, oh, I don't have to do it. Alright, there we go. Yay! Only took me, uh, a little tries. There's only one reason there's exactly two keys on that key ring. Those were the two keys Shadow meant to give, give Espio and Vector. No way! Whoa, 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 whoa. What's on his own key? Couldn't one of those be for him? I have my own key on me. Interesting. So let's say Shadow's telling the truth, then what? Um... If Shadow didn't murder Sonic and bring him to the dining car, then what possible reason could he have for locking all the doors? She's right. Her theory is strong. Tails and I certainly haven't presented any possibilities. Is Shadow really innocent of Sonic's murder? I think the crew and I know exactly why Shadow was locking all the doors. Why does he keep it good to be true? First, Amy, I just have one question for you. Huh? Has anyone today given you a birthday present? Oh, most everyone, yeah. Everyone's been so sweet. Just, um, Shadow and Sonic haven't given me anything yet. That's okay. Just them being here is enough. <laughs> yeah, right. I understand. Thank you, Amy. Degrood? Uh, yes, Sales. I have a theory. A game theory. I should have went to film that time. Because if it says it two more times, I can get all four of them. But I need a piece of evidence to support it. We know Shadow walked through every train car locking the exit. And he gave everyone stationed in the cars a key. Except for you, me, and Amy. Well, technically, I'm probably not supposed to get one. That's right, the conductor gave Amy her birthday key, not Shadow. So why would he lock all the doors and not give us a key? Uh, Shadow couldn't find us. I don't know. Maybe, but Shadow knew Amy, you, and I started in the dining car. We could give... He could have given us keys if he wanted to. That's a compelling argument. So maybe... Shadow wanted to keep us away. Was Shadow locking all the doors to keep us away? Not us, Degrude. I'm making a leap here, but stick with me. I think Shadow was trying to keep Amy away. Huh? Right, because he didn't get her a gift. That's why he was asking about the gift shop. What? Excuse me? Cue Vicky Guerrero screaming that. Shadow would never do that. It's my birthday. You know it's my birthday, right? Don't you, Shadow? Uh. Oh, how dare! The group show me evidence! Huh? If Shadow was trying to keep me away, prove it. You've been so thorough or whatever. What proof do you have? Uh, okay, okay. Tails like Shadow was trying to keep uh, just Amy away. Why? What evidence shows Shadow didn't want Amy to know? Uh, the crumpled piece of paper. That feels right. Phew, just organize my thoughts. That is right, okay. Has to be. Alright, I'm doing terrible this round. Okay. I wanted to start that over anyways. Because I need to... There we go. Oh, it got me. Woo! 
Oh shoot, I should have jumped over. Oh dear lord! Woo! Thank goodness for those at the end! <laughs> Yikes! You went rooting through the trash? Huh? What is that? We found this in the trash bin next to the printer. Oh, I was trying to order a ticket to a band. It's a band's ticket website. Tails don't. Ah, this is Hot Honey's website. No way, I love them. Uh, Hot Honey? It's a band I'm currently obsessed with. Jeremy B is uh, my current favorite. All the members have B after their name? Yes, isn't it cute? I haven't gone to any of their shows yet to see them, though. Their tickets are really hard to get. You have to be ready online at a specific time and they sell out in minutes. So the question becomes, why was this paper found in the train car shadow was stationed in? Watch yourself, Fox. The situation is becoming much clearer. I don't know how Tails figured things out so soon, but I see where he's heading. The printout of the Hot Honey Band's ticket website exists because... Shadow is buying tickets for Amy. But what? Shadow, is that true? Are you trying to give me concert tickets for my birthday? Uh, done a poor job hiding the surprise, it seems. Yes, I'm trying to get you concert tickets for your birthday. Oh, Sh Shadow! I used that printer earlier and I found it difficult to manage. When logging on to the website, did you print the homepage by accident? Oh, the... Yes, that's exactly what happened. I'm not fantastic with computers, admittedly. I can't believe it is after I accuse you of murder. Spill everything, Shadow. The cat's out of the bag. I want to know everything. Fine. The surprise is ruined anyway. Oof. Probably our fault there. Ah, sorry. That's all a detective job, I suppose. When I arrived on the train, I realized everyone else had a gift, except for me. Worried for my social status, I immediately began brainstorming ideas and saw the computer. I remember Amy had never seen Odd Honey live and looked it up. That's when I accidentally printed the homepage. The concert tickets weren't actually on sale, I realized, but it would be available soon. Is that the appointment you keep speaking of? The time you're able to actually buy the concert tickets? Precisely. I haven't purchased the tickets yet. I knew I had to keep Amy away while I waited to buy the tickets, so I began locking all the doors. But for the safety of everyone, I handed out keys so they could get in and out, telling them not to let anyone through. It didn't work. Amy still managed to make it here somehow. It's because the conductor gave me this! This key opens up any door in the train. I've gotten through every locked door with ease. The plan's fatal flaw, the birthday key. I should have guessed. It's a well-known privilege. Apparently everyone knows it's been me. Shadow Eye, your gesture is so sweet, and after I accuse you too. How about this? Let's buy the tickets later. And to make it up to you, you can come with me. I, uh, I don't know if... Too late, it's happening. I can't wait. The show of a lifetime. <sighs> Fine. Happy birthday, Amy. I expect lots of pictures from the concert, you two. Seems the mystery of Shadow's locked doors has finally reached the end. I blame my source for all this. That wasn't a hot tip at all leading me to believe Shadow was behind everything. My credibility as a journalist reporter down the drain. Amy, I am curious. Who is the source uh, for your big scoop? I would like to know as well. Sorry, strictly confidential. My credibility may be shot, but my principles must stay intact. I have a strong feeling I know exactly who your source is. Huh? But we need to investigate one last area, the conductor's car. I'll come with you. I'd love to know who's been dragging my name through the mud. I'll join as well. Time to see this through to the end. We're more than happy to have you both. The crew, I hate to say it, but I believe our investigation is finally coming to a close. The pieces are coming together. The full picture is becoming clearer and clearer. Let's end this, Tails. We'll pin down Sonic's murderer for good. Right on, then. Let's do it. In the next episode. All right. So, sounds like we're wrapping this up probably next time. So, 
It's been an enjoyable little jaunt. I've had fun, so let's see who the actual murderer is. Is it the conductor? Maybe he's the bad guy. Yeah. Retiring? He won one last thrill, one last kill, if you will. I'll stop rhyming now and end this episode. Thank you so much for joining me. Hope you had a good time. If you did and you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button to show your support. Oh, we go a long way. I would appreciate it greatly. Anyways, uh, that'll do it for today. Hopefully you will join me next time. And until then, guys, see ya.